Okay, so welcome prayer coordinators. What we're going to do now is help you to uh, get started uh, with using the I Pray You prayer app and show you how to get yourself set up. Uh, in this, that's what we're going to do in this first video. And then in the following videos, we'll show you how to, to actually use the different features uh, more in depth in the app. So, um, Prayer coordinators, what you'll want to do is uh, go to our web-based app, IPrayU.org. And uh, prayer coordinators, what you're going to do is you're going to click on the prayer partners button. There's one up here in the upper right-hand corner. You can go down here. There's one down here also. So click on whichever one uh, suits your fancy, and um, when this screen loads up, you're going to use the email and password that uh, your pastor uh, gave you when he signed you up into the prayer app, or maybe you were brought into the prayer app by another prayer coordinator, whoever it was that gave it to you, uh, that's what you use, um, put in your email address, so I'm going to use the uh, email address for an actual prayer database uh, for our outreach in Newark. Uh, this is for somebody in the role of uh, prayer coordinator. And click on enter. You're going to get to this screen here. And of course, you're going to hit your home button. Click on your home button and then just give you a real quick orientation. Uh, on this screen here, you have your seven buttons. So your top two buttons are everything you need to know about the prayers of the church. Next two buttons are everything you need to know about who's doing the praying uh, in the church uh, with the prayer ministry teams. And then your bottom three buttons are real important. Uh, this is your prayer event calendar, uh, information about the church, and your information. So, you know, with getting you started, getting you set up, first thing we're going to do is get you clicked on the me button there and so this kind of cool um, one of the things you can do is you can uh, upload a picture so one of my favorite pictures is uh, my wedding picture and uh, you just choose whatever file you want whatever picture you want and uh, put that in there and so one of the cool things that happens with this is that your prayer app then becomes a virtual pictorial directory for your church and that's just a a blessing right there because if you've ever been involved in putting an actual physical pictorial directory together for a church <clears throat> you know what I'm talking about so uh, here's where you make sure your your name's correct uh, phone number email you need know, to change stuff as much as you want to password and anytime you put new information in you'll need to put your password in or you can change it you can confirm it however you want to I'm happy with all that stuff for me uh, so I'm just gonna hit back to home so then what's kind of cool is if you want to see your picture you just click on the prayer ministry members button you know who doesn't like to see their, their wedding picture right and so then click on button number five and that's our picture that's my picture you know you do what you want to so um that's how that works um let's see here so if you go back to the the home screen here um you have your information you have uh, the buttons for the prayers of the church the buttons for the ministry prayer ministry team and the prayer event calendar and the church button uh, the next video we're going to look at we're going to look at how you use the prayers uh, prayer buttons in the uh, prayer app for the church